I made new flange for here, and welded it on. Uh, the old flange, it come off, but I cut a new flange right out of here. Basically what I start off with is something that looks as ugly as that, and then I shape it until it fits. Now the muffler had a really had some really bad holes in it. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm re-wrapping it. It was the holes on the outside, not the inside. So I had this old wheelbarrow. So I just cut the center out of it. And I'm gonna wrap it. We had to put the turkey in there. He would not <laughs> he would not leave us alone, and I'm worried about him getting hurt. He's He's in jail right now for a little while. I couldn't get under the car without him trying to climb on my feet, climb on my legs, just everything. So he's he's having a time out until we get this done. So anyways, that's what I'm up to now. So now you're probably wondering why I didn't go buy a new muffler. Well, these are all attached. They're all one piece. There is no Cadillac converter. I think it's just a resonator and then this little piece of pipe here and then the muffler on the back. So the part I cut to get it off, I welded that all up. That's welded up. I welded this flange back on. So I'm going to put some good gasket material on there. This flange I had to cut and weld back on as well because it was all broke off. So I redid the pipe a little bit. And then like I say, this is the flange here I made and put on. So that's how that's looking. So now I'm just going to continue welding this, wrapping this muffler, wrapping this muffler with this tin. I'm gonna weld her all up, seal all the holes up, and then we're going to go at it and bolt it on. I have to weld the little hangers back on here too that goes into the rubber grommets on the car. I'm pretty sure that's why it went bad in the first place. Although this, this exhaust is probably, I wouldn't be surprised if it's original to that car. That car is an 08 and there was only, it was only 90, I think 96,000 kilometers on it when I got it. So I think it's original exhaust, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it good again. So I'm going to uh, get things started and get things going here. All right, so that's how that looks. I just spot welded that. It may not look the prettiest, but as long as it holds, that's all I care about. I'm gonna pop this off, so, so that's what that's looking like there. Now I am just going to get that put on the car. See if it's any quieter. I'm gonna hammer these flanges flat first. See if I can get them a little bit to flatter so when they bolt together they're not going to leak. So anyways I'm hoping that a little muffler will last quite a while again. So there's two layers of material on there now. I tried to patch a little hole there. It was definitely a bad spot there where the bolt went through to bolt it onto that wheelbarrow over there. So now we're going to get this all up into place and we're going to see how it sounds once we're done. Well, the car is all fixed, put back together off the ramps. We actually took it for a drive to town and it's actually not too, too bad. Uh, the flex pipe at the front is leaking a little bit, but I will probably pull that off sometime and redo it. 
but the bolts in the manifold look pretty bad and I see I have a tire on the tractor that went low on me. So, hmm, not sure what happened there. I was in, when I made that other road, I did a road into the, to the sap, into the birch. Probably didn't show that. And I think I caught something on that valve stem. Uh, there was a, I remember a stick there was in the way and I, I didn't catch it until it rubbed, uh, until the tires turned. It kind of got jammed in uh, the rim. And I think going back there, it spun that. That's why I like to get short valve stems on tire tubes but that one had a long valve stem so well i did what i did what i did so I, i'm going to take a look at it anyways uh someday shortly so anyways anyways it took uh, about uh i don't know a week to go low this one's not mine actually this came into this bike uh, the fellow wants me to do some work on it so i will get at that as soon as i can uh tomorrow i have to go at this and clean this up. <laughs> this is exhaust work. That's what did this in. So anyways, the car works great, folks. So, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. That's probably going to be the video. Probably a short one. So, uh, well, we'll see what uh, the next one is about, right? Always something to do around here. Very shortly, I want to start on that pole building. But first... I have a barbecue to build for my father-in-law. It's going to have a rotisserie on it. He uh, brought me the motor, the electric motor, and the rotisserie part down. Excuse me. So I just have to cut. So I just have to cut one of those tanks apart that I have up there, those oil drums, and build a barbecue out of it. So if it's nice, perhaps tomorrow, I will get at that. First of all this cleanup <laughs> it's nice to have that cribbing man that's nice to be able to, to put the car up on there and climb on there and work anyways that's probably it for today folks i got that done just in time you can see the puddles i would have been laying in that it started pouring rain when i was under welding the last pieces the little brackets that fit on that front exhaust part uh that goes through the rubber that holds the the exhaust up I had to weld those tabs back on because they were rotted off. I'm sure that exhaust is original to that car. Like I say, when I got the car, it had 96 or 98,000 original kilometers, I believe, on it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's got 120,000 now. Not too many on it, I guess, for, for, for being, uh, what is it, 11 years old now? It's, uh, 2008. So, still, still going pretty good, the little car. I don't, I don't mind it. But uh, anyways, I, I actually like the little car. We both do. So anyways, we will talk to you tomorrow, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.